Well, by the time Donald Trump took the witness stand today, in the case of E. Jean Carroll versus Donald Trump, the questions his lawyer would be allowed to ask him were already worked out in detail in discussions with the judge and the lawyers on both sides of the case while the jury was out of the courtroom. Judge Lewis Kaplan instructed Donald Trump's defense lawyers once again that Donald Trump would not be allowed in his testimony to contest the fact that he raped E. Jean Carroll in the department store in Manhattan. Judge Kaplan told the lawyers that the jury in the previous E. Jean Carroll lawsuit in the same courtroom found that Donald Trump did, in fact, sexually assault E. Jean Carroll. And that was not an issue before this jury, whose duty is solely to decide how much in money damages Donald Trump should pay E. Jean Carroll. Judge Kaplan told the Trump lawyers the jury will be instructed that regardless of what he says in court here today, he did it as far as they're concerned. That is the law. Donald Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, then told the judge she only wanted to ask three questions. One, does Donald Trump stand by the testimony he gave in his deposition? Two, why did he deny attacking E. Jean Carroll? And three, did he tell anyone to harm E. Jean Carroll? After lengthy discussions, the judge said that the Trump lawyer could ask the first question and the third question, but not the second question. The question that the, the judge ruled out was, why did you deny sexually assaulting E. Jean Carroll? With the ground rules set, the judge brought the jury into the courtroom. And now that we have the transcript at this late hour, we finally know what was said. The judge said, Ms. Haba, you may call your next witness. Ms. Haba, thank you, Your Honor. The defense calls President Donald Trump. Deputy Clerk, can please state your name? Can you please state your name for the record? The witness, Donald John Trump. The judge, you may proceed, Ms. Haba. Ms. Haba, thank you, Your Honor. Question, Mr. President. You viewed your deposition, which was played by plaintiff's counsel at length during the trial, didn't you? Answer, yes, I did. Question, do you stand by your testimony at the deposition? Answer, 100% yes. Question, did you deny the allegation because Ms. Carroll made an accusation? Answer, that's exactly right. She said something. I consider it a false accusation. No difference. Roberta Kaplan, E. Jean Carroll's attorney, says, objection, Your Honor. The, the court the judge says, everything after yes, I did is stricken. The jury will disregard it. Go ahead. Question, did you ever instruct anyone to hurt Ms. Carroll in your statements? Answer, no. I just wanted to defend myself, my family, and frankly, the presidency. Ms. Kaplan, objection, Your Honor. The judge, objection is sustained. Everything after no is stricken. The jury will disregard. Ms. Haba, I have no further questions. Thank you. The judge, thank you. Cross-examination by Ms. Kaplan. Question, good afternoon, sir. Now, your deposition that we watched earlier today in this trial took place in October of 2022, correct? Answer, I believe so, yes. Question, and after that, months after that, there was a trial between you and Ms. Carroll that took place actually in this courtroom, correct? Ms. Haba, objection, the court sustained. Ms. Haba, thank you. Ms. Kaplan, question, sitting here today, Mr. Trump, are you aware that there was another trial between you and Ms. Carroll? Answer, yes. Ms. Haba, objection. The judge sustained. Question, Mr. Trump. Is this the first trial between you and Ms. Carroll that you have attended? Ms. Haba, objection. The judge, I will allow that. Answer, yes. Ms. Kaplan, no further questions, Your Honor. The judge, any redirect? Redirect examination by Ms. Haba. Question, Mr. President, did you have counsel at the last trial? Answer, I had counsel. Question, did you listen to the advice of counsel at the last trial? Ms. Kaplan, objection, Your Honor. The judge, sustained. Ms. Haba, no further questions. The court, thank you, Mr. Trump. You are excused. And that was it. Three minutes. The first time a former president of the United States testified under oath in a trial as a defendant in that trial.